Hi, I'm Dr. Yen Reyes. I'm an infectious disease specialist and a pediatrician. I will be talking about medical updates, lifestyle, and health. So please subscribe to my channel and click the notification button. Hi, I'm Dr. Yen Reyes. I'm a pediatric infectious disease specialist. And a lot of uh, friends call me, during, especially during this pandemic, telling me that their daughters or their sons were bitten by a dog. And most of them, I don't have a prophylaxis or they don't have an injection for their dog. So uh, it's also very, very sad because there are a lot of rabies cases in the Philippines. Like for example, there was a Norwegian nurse who came from Norway and then he just, she just went to a resort and then after that, she fed a puppy and brought, brought the puppy to the resort. When she went to Norway, she had uh, signs of rabies like uh, difficulty of breathing and well, pag pinafan na siya, na, nahirapan na siya. And whenever she sees water, uh, nagwawala na siya. So it is a, one of the symptoms of rabies. So it's so sad because even in Norway, after 200 years, they don't have cases of rabies. However, they, they, they got the rabies from the Philippines after after their tour in the Philippines. So it is best, especially if you own a dog, to have this pre-exposure prophylaxis. So it is so easy. You just have the rabies vaccine and it will be injected to you intradermally on day zero and day seven. So they will just place 0.1 ml and then place it in your arm and then on day zero. And then after that, you have another 0.1 ml so if you are an immunocompetent individual, like for example, you don't have any illness, it's okay to have day zero, day zero and day seven. However, in immunocompromised individuals, like if you have um, other illnesses like leukemia or others, you have to compute. You have to complete the three doses: day zero, day seven, day three. So in my next blog, I will tell you about what we'll do when, whenever you are beaten by, an, by a dog because that is called post-exposure prophylaxis because what I'm just telling you is just a pre-exposure prophylaxis. So I hope that you can subscribe so that you will learn. We will be sticking to science and we will stick to good information instead of misinformation. So, especially those pet lovers, it is best that you have yourself be, uh, have, you must have a pre-exposure prophylaxis with babies like I also did. I already had my pre-exposure prophylaxis day zero. Like that. See you next time.